Station here live in Chicago, but we in California. All gas. From the rich, baby. All gas. All gas and no brakes. Y'all on the, the best no radio station in the world. All no get your brakes on Broadway. What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? You already know what it is. You have just stepped into war zone. Now, I want to talk about a living legend, a living legend that who has shaped the game and reality that we know today, a legend who has almost single-handedly shaped the way we do business and promote our brand within the movie culture construct within the hip hop construct within the fashion world of the black and minority communities as well as black big business communities I want to introduce you or reintroduce those to the Grand Master. And when I emphasize those, I'm referring to those who are new to the game. Because there are those that are new to the game. There are those who have come up in the game. But there are also those who are learning game from the people who has learned game from the Grand Master. The Grand Master has rose from the ashes like a phoenix, baby. Okay? The Grand Master has been at the level of what you would call a pimp back in those days. But not a pimp that would beat up ladies and things like that in which the media has ballooned this perception of pimps to be. 
in today's day and age. No, never that. Women choose to be around certain players that they felt comfortable with and that they felt that would be able to protect them. Because women need protection. However, the Grand Master has risen so far beyond in what you would think and call your everyday pimp. He has went to the level of a Mac, big time. And if there's a level above that, that's the Grand Master. He's called the pinnacle of success. He's called the triple OG. He's called the one and only. He's called the Grand Master. He has not given himself these names. These names have come from big time players of the game. Oh yes, your movie stars from way back in the days who were creating all of these movies and became idols in your eyes came to the Grand Master for help. They were getting pennies on the dollar. They were not getting pretty much anything. They were being totally robbed. They came to the Grand Master for help because the Grand Master was a person that was in the game, but the Grand Master was and is very, very pro-black and cares deeply about his people. So you can pretty much say he was an activist, but he just wasn't out there with the picket signs and politicians protesting. He would do what he would do from behind the scenes and move the levers from behind the scenes. You can basically refer to him as the dark matter of our constructed world. The dark matter. That's who the black ma the grand master is. The dark matter. He's created a company way back then to help movie characters, movie role players, movie stars, big time stars. Enroll. He's created a company for them to enroll into this company that will defend them and get them paid. He helped them. They needed help. They came to him for help. So, and that, and therefore he did it. He helped them. He didn't have to do that. He was already super, super up. He didn't have to do that, but he did that. He was so up within the black community. The Italian mafia came to do business with this man. Oh, yes. And they did do business with this man because he was nothing to be played with. He was nothing to be played with. The Italian community seen that it would behoove them not to do business with this type of brother who was definitely connected to the higher powers of the Black Panther Party the original Black Panther Party in those days. The Grand Master is from Fresno, California, baby. He's from California. He's from LA. He's from all over those parts. Any, anywhere, everywhere you can think about on the West Coast, that's where the Grand Master is from. But the Grand Master is international now. The Grand Master has came up through the ranks. Never ever snitched on anybody. As a matter of fact, when he did his friend a favor and got caught up into some mischief, which was the only time he did get caught up into some mischief, he did his time and never snitched on nobody because he did not do what he was accused of. There was a lot of setting up of the black man back in those days. Especially, especially if you were successful. 
I know that for a fact because you have the legendary fashion from NY, baby, who also was wrongfully accused. But his story will be coming out. Very, very successful entrepreneur in the likes of KP Fashion from New York. But the Grand Master is revered by the highest players of the game in these days right now. The Grand Master is the reason why the hip hop community right now ride Mercedes Benz, believe that or not. See, the Grand Master was riding Cadillac when Cadillac was in, was hot, blazing, when you were somebody when you had the Cadillac. However, he started to notice that too many squares, too many hippies, too, too many uh, white boys was dr starting to drive Cadillac. So he had to distinguish himself. So what did he do? He started riding Benz. <laughs> he started riding Mercedes, baby. Know what I'm saying? And now what do you see? All of the big time players, all of the big time rappers riding Mercedes Benz. Oh yes, the Maybach. Don't don't get it twisted. So all, that's all Mercedes Benz. Don't get it twisted. I can go on and on. Big jewelry. That's what he wear. He wear big jewelry. As a matter of fact, he's the reason for people like Slick Rick and rappers within the city of New York wearing big chains and big ropes around their neck. The Mr. T's and, and everything. It's because of the Grand Master that they're following trends that were started by the Grand Master. Movie stars don't even know that they're following trends that were started by the Grand Master. Oh yes, the Grand Master. Still riding Bentley. <laughs> Still riding Rolls Royce. Still riding in the Ghost. Right now, to date, to date, the Grand Master is on top of his game. Never dealing with no lame. <laughs> oh yes, the Grand Master. They love the Grand Master. Shout out to Bishop Don Juan, who also loves the Grand Master. Shout out to Big KP Fashion Legend NY who also loves the Grand Master. And the Grand Master loves them back. Shout out to Queen May. These are big time, big time Max players in the game, baby. Oh yes. Big shout out to Mr. Rick. We see you. Shot Town's finest. Big time. Big time players. Max. Shout out to Romel. Big time players. Max. Shout out to Shot Town. We see you. Shout out to Fresno. Shout out to LA. Cali. We see you. All of you big time players out there. Shout out to KP Fashion. One of the only holding it down for NY, baby. Big time player. Big, big time. We talking about outside of the scope of that particular game. Big time legends. You'll know, cause I will have videos dropping for Big KP Fashion also. But this right here, this video is for the Grand Master because the Grand Master deserves big spotlight for what he has done and what he's still doing for our community, showing you a man of integrity, a man of integrity that can be in the game, that was in the game, and still has an, an integrable posture about him. The Grand Master, author, best-selling book writer, movies on Netflix right now, go check him out. Documentary on Netflix right now, go check him out. Books 
online right now. Go check it out. Get some real game, not YouTubers game and not game from rappers that has never ever put in any work for real in any type of game. Okay? We not talking like that. We talking big time for real. Shout out to Fred Hampton, the chairman of the Black Panther Party. Fred Hampton Jr. Shout out to big Fred Hampton Jr. Go check out his movie that they got out for the Black Panther Party right now. Judas and the Black Messiah. Go check it out. Check out the Grandmaster who came up and rose like a phoenix and still flying extremely high. We're not talking about like a Jay-Z. No, no shots to Jay-Z, but we're talking about a big time player who came up for real in the game, baby. Playing no games. All of the big time who somebody's know about the Grandmaster, period. If you don't know about the Grandmaster, more, more than likely, you're nobody. The Grandmaster of the game, man. And that's no shot to those who don't know of the Grandmaster because there's so much dif disinformation out there and I can understand. And then you have a lot of young individuals coming up in the game. So there's no shot to you. You're being taught right now. So stay with me and stay focused. Stay with me and stay focused. Stay with me and stay focused. The Grand Master taught you how to do this. And he's still teaching how to do this right now. On top of his game, baby. Not walking around like some old man on no cane. The man coming, he might be. The man could come in and, and probably <laughs> take out five individuals at one time if he had to. He ain't playing no games. But he's not a man of conflict. He's a man of integrity. He's a man of entrepreneurship. He's a man of teaching and helping others who are not in position to help themselves. He's a man to help you get into position. This is the type of integrable man that I am highlighting and speaking about at this current moment. If you don't know who the Grand Master is, you better ask somebody. The Grand Master showed you how to ride Benz. He's the one showed you how to do that. That's why the hip hop community is on riding Benz, riding Bentley. That's why big time plays in Max. When he actually got into trouble, and he got locked up for the first time. Well, guess what? They stopped the Super Bowl, interrupted the Super Bowl to see who this man is, period. Oh yes, big time player, big time power, big time. Ask Omar Gooden Jr. who has actually appeared in a few of the Grand Masters movies and vice versa. The Grand Master has appeared with Omar Gooden Jr. Now, I need you to understand who we are talking about and what we're dealing with when it comes to a person like the Grand Master and his stature and his status. We're not talking about these made up cartoons that you know of today. We're not talking about these made up players that you know of today. We're not talking about rappers who project themselves to be players, however, have never had multiple women at one time, who, however, has never had multiple women working with them at one time, like the Grandmaster. We're not talking about men who has not had 20 to 70 cars 
<laughs> at one time, like the Grandmaster. We're not talking about people, we're talking about people who revere the Grandmaster, like a Rick Ross. Rick Ross has rented cars from the Grandmaster. It's big time like that. And if you want to rent a car, you need a car rented right now for your music video. Right now, if you need a car rented for your weddings, you get in touch with the Grandmaster. You get in touch with the Grandmaster. Heck, you can get in, leave comments. Get in touch with me. I'll get you in touch with the Grandmaster if you're serious. I'll send you a link for the Grandmaster. So if you want to rent cars from him, you want to do some real business with the Grandmaster, it's very possible. So yes, Rick Ross, shout out to Jamie Foxx, he see it, he's representing Jamie Foxx, he see what it is, he know what it is, he's been told what it was, and what it is, we talking about the real players, baby, the black nucleus, baby, the dark matter, behind the scenes, baby, that really make the world go around, baby, Y'all recognize who this is. Y'all recognize. I need you to go out there and go read his books. You want to see a true play in action? A living legend in action? Not just a rapper or a movie actor? And you're, you, you, you're revering these actors off of their pure acting ability? Which, there's no shots to the actors. But we're talking about real max, real players, real game changers, okay? We're talking about real entrepreneurs, for real, that came up, for real. Not nobody corny, baby. Not nobody corny. Not nobody talking words of manipulation like a lot of these rappers out here nowadays and have never, ever been on the streets really putting in that work, for real. For real. Y'all make sure y'all understand what's going on. Y'all make sure y'all get at the Grandmaster and look, go look up his Netflix documentaries right now. Go look up his Netflix movies right now. It's on Netflix. Go look it up. The Grandmaster. I will be dropping consistent videos on the Grandmaster to let you know more about the Grandmaster because the Grandmaster has to be put out there for all of you who don't know what a cripple, a quadruple OG is. A living, living legend quadruple OG. For all those who don't know, there is one right out here. And you need to know what's going on. You need to know that the original OGs is coming out. And shout out to big boy, Mr. Rick, once again. Producer, host of the new original OG series that will be coming out very soon on HBO. Shout out to HBO. Shout out to KP Fashion. He has a movie of himself coming out on HBO too, so look out for that. He has a big series coming out, so look out for that. These are all links to the Grandmaster in which I'm naming. But the original OGs is gonna set the record straight for a lot of the lame characters who are out there polluting the game and misguiding our youth. And we can't have that any longer. So this is very, very important, these videos, and for you to really understand and really not just listen to my voice and listen to what I'm saying and then move on to another video. You need to go in and really deep dive and research who the Grandmaster is. Go to Netflix and pull up the Grandmaster and his videos will pop up. Go to uh, eBooks or what have you, wherever you go to get your books, your book source, and look up the Grandmaster and go and read his books. 
Okay? True, true, t true to the game. Now, I love you all. Except for the ones I don't. Peace.